Hello everyone, it is your girl Claire here. I hope you're doing well. I'm here with another video to help you guys because I wish I knew this when I was transferring to UC San Diego and I struggled a lot, a whole lot to get to where I am today. And I don't want you guys to go through that. It is not necessary, especially for those who struggle in subjects like math or science. And I'm here to help you, okay? because I had one advisor. I will thank her, Kaylee Fisher. If I hadn't gone to this specific advisor, I honestly don't know where I would be today because I had talked to another advisor who did not give me the advice she gave me. And you know, I just appreciate her so much and I, again, don't know where I would be without her. So with that being said, let me get into what I'm gonna say. So I am an international business student. Well, I'm majoring in international business. And in order to fulfill requirements, you have to take obviously your general ed classes. And when you're transferring, you also need to fulfill a good amount of your math classes. And when I looked at the assist, I may have overlooked, but also I didn't consider UC San Diego as my top choice. So anyway, I did not know that you had to take three calculus classes for my major. And when I looked at the assist for other colleges, I saw that most of the other colleges only required calculus one. So I did that, I completed it, and trust me, it was so hard, I don't even know how I got through it. I even passed with an A, but I think it's because it was during COVID and uh, the professor was very lenient. I was also in community college. So I did go ahead and complete my Calculus 1 class and I transferred here. And I should have looked at Assist again because when I got accepted to UC San Diego, I assumed that I, were, I fulfilled all the requirements needed in order to get in and that I would be automatically doing my um, upper division classes within for my major. But no, I found out that I had to take two more calculus classes once I got here. And I kid you not, guys, I was bawling my eyes out. That is how much I dislike math. I do not do well in that subject. I've tried, you know, I'm not a giver upper, but it is very hard for me to get through math. When I realized I had to take two more classes, I honestly debated what I wanted to do because I, I really struggled, so I contemplated, I was like, do I, am I gonna go here still? Like, do I drop out? You know, what are my other options? And I ended up coming here, and for the first quarter, I took Calculus 2, which here is called Math 10B. The thing is, is that what I wasn't aware of is that there are two placements you can go, or sorry, there are two routes you can go. And you can do the regular calculus or you can do the STEM calculus. I was never aware until I came here that there were two different routes. So I realized that the math, the calculus class I had taken in community college was actually the STEM math course. And that is not required for business majors. You only need to take a regular calculus class. If you're a STEM major, you're required, I don't word me on this, but I'm like 75% sure that you're required to take the 20 series. The 10 series is a bit more relaxed as people would say. So I got here and I took 10B and I couldn't, I just couldn't. I went to obviously all my classes. I went to tutoring and midway through, I withdrew because I was struggling. I could not get, I could not understand it. The professor was going so fast. UC San Diego is on a quarter system, so time is flying by. And then when you need a tutor, it's already midterms. And then when you need a tutor again, it's already finals. So I just knew within myself that I was not gonna be able to get a good grade in this class. So I withdrew and that is when I was really having a breakdown. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what the other route was. I'm already taking the easier route, apparently. And, um, you know, I went to go talk to an advisor and what he told me is that, oh, you know, you can just take it next quarter. Like, I don't know how that is helpful in any way, <laughs> but that's what he advised me to do. 
and I was like, okay, cool. And then, you know, finish the quarter up and I go back to a advisor again, this time it's a female. And I explained to her my situation, how I struggle a lot. And she's like, you know, don't worry, it's okay. Um, just be calm and let me see if I could help you. And she ended up finding a community college within San Diego that offers a 10 series class. But this 10 series class makes up of two calculus classes at UC San Diego. So the calculus class they had at this community college in San Diego covered 10B, which is calculus two, and 10C, which is calculus three. This blew my mind. I was like, what? I never knew this was a thing. I didn't even know that colleges could fulfill two classes at other colleges. You know, I was just unaware. The community college is on a semester system. So it is a little bit longer than a quarter system, but you'll be cracking out two classes, two math, rigorous, painful, tough classes at a community college that is much easier where professors are actually willing to help you and go out of their way to reteach things and make you feel like you know they care and that they want you to succeed so i ended up taking that 10 series class which counted for 10b and 10c at uc san diego which covered math two sorry calculus two and calculus three and like i previously mentioned i took calculus one back at my community college back home so when i signed up for the class at the community college, I was just praying and praying and praying. I'm like, okay, you know, Lord, please let this go, th let this go through smoothly. Let me understand, um, you know, just let me take the time I need, really work hard and study and I'll get through it. And I did, I did and I passed with an A, which is amazing. Again, um, it just comes to show the difference between not trying to seek help and seeking help because if I didn't look for another advisor, because I already felt terrible with the first advisor that they spoke to because he didn't help me at all or give me advice or tell me, you know, help, just help me in any way that I felt that I needed. But then when I went back for the second time, I got the opposite. I got a woman who was very kind, who was very open arms and wanted to help me. So you can't give up. If someone turns you down, go for it again. Because like for me, it I went for it again and I got the help I needed. And I'm so grateful, like I said, for this advisor. And uh, you know, I just wanna let you guys know that this calculus class that I took at the community college it was amazing. It was mainly asynchronous and I took two exams in person at the community college, but they were completely online and it was based off what we learned in the class and I was just amazed by how well I did and how well I understood it. I don't know, I, even talking about this, I'm still like shocked. I can't believe I passed three calculus classes all with A's and I'm over here like, I hate math. I, you know, don't, I don't wanna touch it. So it says a lot. And to any of you who are struggling in math, please, 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 I advise you to take your math class at a community college and specifically find a community college that has the 10 series because like i said when i went to my community college i didn't even know the 10 series was available i didn't know it existed because my community college only had the 20 series so i had to take 20a and i was like oh my god this is ridiculous like why am i learning this math it's not necessary but um you know it is what it is and I Sorry guys, I'm back. I had to switch over to my iPhone because my camera ran out of storage. But I just wanted to leave off by saying that there are other routes. Like I thought that I wasn't gonna graduate college because of this math requirement. And you know, I was, 
the fact that I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna drop out? I'm still shocked about that. But even after I didn't get the help I needed, I said, you know, I'm gonna keep looking for help because there is someone who can help you and I want to help you because no one should have to struggle through this. If I can get through three calculus, rigorous, math classes i think you can too i am a hard worker but like i said math does not click with me so if i can do it you can do it and i just want you to be able to get through these classes there's no reason you should have to struggle especially if your major isn't something in the stem field you know i think these classes were made for the reason of knowing how to problem solve knowing each step to take. They don't really want you to get down the math in my opinion. This is what I think. I think they just want you to problem solve. Yeah. So that's all I have to say. And I will link the assist for the college that I went to in San Diego to show you the math class that it covers at UC San Diego. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you also don't go to UC San Diego because it sucks. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. If 